All right, guys, I am back with yet another video. I got my coffee in my Grinch mug. Uh, just drinking it straight black today. I'm out of creamer. But let's get ready for this video. And today I want to talk about the 3080 Ti. I know we've had some stuff leaked on it and it's getting ready to launch. From what I understand, in a month, I couldn't find a concrete date, but I heard May 25th. Uh, I don't know if this is exact. I know. We'll go inside the computer in a minute. We'll look at some stuff. I want to talk about a few things. As far as gaming, hands down, this is probably going to be your best GPU to buy for gaming. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more expensive than your 3080. But from articles that I've read, this thing performs almost as good as a 3090. So let's go inside the computer here and we'll check out some websites. And I'll just overview them. And the one other thing I want to talk about is the crypto mining, alle not allegations, but um, rumors that I heard of it getting 118 mega hash a second. So we'll talk about that also. So let's go inside the computer and check it out. All right. So here's the first article I was looking at, which is pretty much just talking generally about the 3080. And I was looking for a price and they're estimating the price to be around 1099 for it. So I don't know if that's a founder's edition, but because it does mention the 3080 Ti Ventus, which is an MSI card. And if we we look before, this is a leaked photo that was sent. It's of the 3080 Ti Ventus 3X and it's saying 12 gigabyte OC. So it's saying that, you know, there is gonna be 12 gigabytes on the 3080 Ti. Uh, most of this stuff's pr pretty concrete at this point. Uh, so if we look down here, we'll see the specs of the 3080 Ti could arrive with 10,240 CUDA cores, 80 ray tracing cores, and 320 tensor cores. So, pretty good solid GPU. Now, in this article here on PC Games, they're pretty much claiming that the 3080 Ti is pretty much going to run games just as good as the 3090 now that's games as far as you know rendering video and production the 3080 ti will topple it with its higher uh, vram and but gaming it could it could pretty much go hand in hand with it one other thing that i wanted to look at was in this article they claim 118.9 mega hash a second mining ethereum now, I'm assuming they're mining Ethereum. If they're mining another algorithm, well, yeah, Ethereum mining hash rate. Now, other mining algorithms, this this could probably be fine, but it was claiming 278 watts at the card, I'm assuming, not at the wall. They're, they're probably just saying at the card. 278 watts at the card at 118.9 mega hash a second. Now, this is something that I think people should pay attention to because... I don't know where they're getting this hash rate. I haven't seen testing live of it yet. And now, to my knowledge, people don't have this in their hands that are testing it. There may be a few people that do have it in their hands for, for testing purposes, but they're not really releasing too much. But these cards also will be coming with, and I don't know if they, they mention it in this article. Uh, this one's showing the card actually in stock on some sites. Uh, but they're foreign sites. And this one's also saying it's expected to be $1,000, $99.99. Um, so who knows what the actual price is. I can't get And this one is another one that's $1,099. But the my anti-mining is what you really need to pay attention to. Because they put this in the 3060. So when this... Website's claiming 118.9 mega hash a second mining Ethereum. Uh, I really wouldn't pay attention to this too much right now because they're going to put this mining implementation on it. And in this one, they're actually saying that it's not just going to be a firmware thing. Like the mining limiting is going to be on the firmware. Here's where it says Igor's lab reports that the new G102202 N. 102302 GPUs will have all new device and firmware IDs. The new boards will only be supported by newer drivers that will significantly reduce the mining performance of these cards and will render them useless to miners. Now, obviously there's probably gonna be a workaround to this eventually. If you have a card that is that good at mining, 
somebody's probably going to figure out a workaround to get around this. Uh, but it is saying pretty much that the 470.05 driver that we're using on 3060s isn't going to work on this graphics card. Now, I have heard a rumor saying that, that people, when they look through the coding of the that 470.05 driver that we use, or oh, nah, the 3060s, that... They see that it will work on the 3080 Ti, but until I see that proven, I'm not really going to think too much into that. Uh, so, pretty much in all this 118.9 mega hash a second, it's probably before the mining limiter is implemented on it. When we get it in our hands as consumers and gamers and miners, it's going to have that limiter on it. Now, gamers not really going to care about that. They're just going to use it, game with it not think twice but if you're a crypto miner and you're buying these you have to keep in mind that limiter so you might not be mining ethereum with it um other coins like conflux raven coin uh you can still be pretty profitable on them but not nearly as profitable if you were to mine ethereum so if you're looking at it from a mining perspective keep that in mind when you're looking at purchasing this gpu so that's some stuff to look at. I mean, if you are mining, like I said, and that's the sole purpose, this GPU may not be for you at first, uh, unless you are trying to diversify your portfolio, mine different coins, then yeah, this could probably mine a lot of other stuff. I know with my 3060, I was able to mine Conflux with no issue, and I could even put that on a riser and do it. Uh, I do have them mining Ethereum in a dedicated PC right now, but they're on the motherboard with dummy plugs and driver 470.05. Uh, it's kind of a pain to get it to do it. It's a lot to work around. I'd hate to try and build like multiple like two car GPU rigs just to mine. Uh, I did do the one just just for the purpose of doing it and to show people how, that you could get two 3060s mining. Uh, and it's pretty profitable right now, but after paying for all that stuff, uh, the ROI is like at six months at current time. So it's not really justified too well to do it. Now 3080 Ti though with gaming, obviously this is gonna be a really good gaming GPU. A lot of people are gonna to wanna to get their hands on it. And I can see a lot of people even with 3080s wanting to upgrade to 3080 Ti's. Uh, so you might actually see some 3080s come on the market for a decent price. Uh, from the people that actually get the 3080 Ti. Now, when I say decent price, you're still probably gonna be paying over MSRP. I could see people getting 3080 Ti's and selling their 3080s for the price that they paid for the 3080 Ti just to make the money back. So it's essentially a free upgrade for them. From a mining perspective, if somebody would need to sell me 3080 for 11 or $1,200, I'd be buying it. So I'm hoping that that does happen locally for a few of them. I have no issue buying a used 3080 for $1,000 just to put on a mining rig. It's just gonna sit there, I'll monitor the temperatures and make sure everything's all right, pretty much let it go. I did get my Asus Tough GPU used and that thing's been running solid for me since the day that I got it. So used GPUs, always a good option if you're looking to buy. I know right now is not a good time because of how inflated prices are. Um, but yeah, do I plan on buying a 3080 Ti? Yeah, I'll buy a 30 Ti. Um, I could always use an upgrade in my main PC. I know I have a 2080 Super in it right now. I love the GPU. It's a Asus White Strix Edition. I had a video on me installing it into my PC, and it looks phenomenal. But it could always use an upgrade with all the video rendering that I do for YouTube videos and photo editing that I do also. I could always use an upgrade to help run that a lot smoother. And my 9900K that is in my PC should support it very well. Uh, I know people are going to say, but I don't have PCIe 4.0. To me, that doesn't matter right now. Uh, if I wanted to upgrade, I could, but it's not worth it for that performance uh, increase that's going to be not as significant as buying the GPU in general. But, you know, thanks for checking this video out. If you have any takeaways from it, I'd say if you're buying a 3080 Ti for mining, really pay attention to that mining limiter. If you're only wanting to mine Ethereum, I do not think it's going to be a card that you want to buy. Um, but if you're gaming, I think this is going to be a solid GPU, and I think it's going to be worth waiting an extra couple weeks instead of buying a 3080 right now. Um, especially if you're buying GPUs at Micro Center, you only get one per month. I think it might be worth the wait 
to wait it out just a few more weeks and camp out and get a 3080 Ti over a 3080. But thanks for checking this video out. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.